with a base mesh established in a previous video, we are actually going to jump ahead in time and look at how the final model turned out. This way we can compare what we started out with and go over all the changes that were made for the character. In some cases it's refinements that should have been part of the base mesh from the start. Putting aside the obvious differences in proportions, the main change that stands out is going from a T pose to the A pose. For all of the modelling, I kept everything in the T pose simply because it's so much easier to move stuff around when it all lines up with the main axis. You can do much the same in the A pose, but it is generally a lot more messing about and slower. The reason for later changing to the A pose was in order to do the rigging. Rigify's default meta rig is in the A pose, mainly due to the fact that the arms spend most of the time down and in front of the body rather than up and over the head. This way it is easier to achieve better deformation of the shoulder joint where it is seen most often. Next is just a few minor adjustments to the geometry. An edge loop a little above the knee help to provide a bit more control as the knee bends. More loops were added along the arm, both near the shoulder to help with shape and form as that moves and rotates in every possible direction, as well as along the forearm so that we can get smoother and more believable shapes as the wrist rotates the whole hand around. Most of the changes were made to the face, starting with the eyes. Two additional edge loops have been added to both the top and bottom of the eye in order to provide more geometry to shape the eye for animation. This was especially needed as the eyes are somewhat larger than normal. On a plus side, this also added an extra loop around the side of the nose, which was also needed. An extra edge loop was also needed through the mouth and along the nose and chin for additional detail and control during animation while another edge loop was required around the whole mouth in order to define a more believable shape, along with one more edge loop at the base of the nose to prevent both the nose tip and nostrils from looking too flat. One of the biggest changes, however, isn't on the outside, but is inside. For the original base mesh, I modelled the teeth and gums as separate objects. The reason for this was simple, it just made it easier to do. I could use as much detail as I needed for the gums, while keeping the overall inside mouth geometry fairly basic. However, depending on the animation, this could cause problems with harsh seams between the mouth and gums. Instead, I spent the extra time and fully attached the gums to the inner mouth while also making some overall form changes. This now allows for a much smoother transition of the geometry, along with a texture map that treats it all as a single object, apart from the teeth. The last main change that was made was to the placement of the UV seams, shown here in red. On the original base mesh, the head was separated at the base of the neck, while the ears were also treated as separate UV objects. The main torso was basically cut along the centre line of the shoulders, while the legs got split directly down the back. On the current mesh, a few things were changed, mostly to hide any UV seams that could be visible at common viewing angles. So the neckline was moved up under the chin and higher on the back of the head. This way any texture joint is largely covered by the hair or likely in shadow under the chin. The ears are also no longer cut out, giving a smooth, seamless transition along the side of the face, while the shoulder seam is moved towards the back, where it is more likely that hair and clothes will hide any texture joints. Lastly, the leg seams are moved inside, where again they are more likely to be in shadow or at a glancing angle. And that pretty much covers all the changes I made to the original starting mesh during the creation of the Nissa character. If you like this look behind the scenes and want to see more or have specific questions or requests, then please click like and subscribe or leave a comment below. If not, that's perfectly fine and I hope to see you for the next one. Cheers.